I just Kanye Wested you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a holiday glam look. So, I already washed my face, I've exfoliated, exfoliated my face. Anytime I like to do a full face of makeup, especially, you know, like super, super glam, I will go in with like a um, the face razor to kind of take away all the fuzzies so my face will be smooth. So this is what I'm talking about. It just looks like that. It's a Revlon one. Just kind of go in, make sure all my fuzzies are gone and I look flawless, girl. part of my face is done I just go in and kind of now I will put on a little bit of moisturizer because my facials are like really tight um, and again I'm gonna go in with my time-wise moisturizer now to prime my face um, I will go in with the e.l.f. prep and blur stick it looks like that it's like makeup almost and I just kind of go in the next primer that I will use is the e.l.f. poreless putty primer Okay, so now that the um, poreless putty primer is on, pat my face, get it nice and sticky, and my eyes are looking a little puffy today. I'll go in with my Mary Kay eye gel. Just to kind of get that puffiness down, because it's bad, girl. Next is foundation, and I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. Um, this is a color 105 Natural Beige, and I've already dampened my beauty blender, so of course I'm on my hand. Let's get dead. I know I look a little um, dewy, a little greasy, um, but I promise it's going to look better. It's just a process. You all know this. I met y'all. Okay, so now that my foundation is on, next I will go in with some concealer. Today, I'm going to use the Elf 16 Hour Camo Concealer. But I'm gonna mix two shades. Um, this one is in medium sand, and this one is medium beige. So, just because I feel like this one's too dark, but this one's way too light for me. We gotta mix, honey, we gotta mix. So today I want to try something new. I don't know how well it's going to work. I've never done it before. Usually I'll go in with the beauty blender to blend this out with the corner part, but I've read that um, using like a brush would do the trick. Um, so I'm just going to grab my little, it's flat. 
So I'm gonna try this, see how it works, and if it doesn't work, I'll go to the other eye with my usual routine. So I like this technique because look at the brush, there's like almost no product on there. It leaves the product on your face really, really well, like it's super thick, but like you can clearly see where my concealer is and I don't like that. So I'm just going to stick to my beauty blender here. I also don't put concealer like around my nose, my forehead, nothing else, just my, under my eyes. We're gonna set it. I'm gonna go in with my Revolution Banana Light Powder. I use this for the under eye. I do go in with the um, dampened uh, sponge, beauty blender. Take that amount. I am still out of my eyeshadow primer that I absolutely love. So I just put some concealer on there. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Mineral Power Finish Veil Translucent Powder. <coughs> I used to apply this with this kind of brush. It's big, fluffy, perfect for it. Um, but I kind of like how the wet sponge just finishes it off. So I'm just gonna go in and do that. freaking ginormous. I look like a ghost. It's just my light. It's actually not even this light. I actually look very brown in person. I'm gonna go in with my brow. Usually I will use just the pencil, fill them in, you know, brush them out. But since this is like a full on glam, I will use a little bit of the um, pomade. So I am going in the pomade. I'm gonna go in with this Beauty Professional um, pomade, it's a chestnut brown. Looks like I'm going to finish, but Brett and Rock had the best makeup of all time. I just Kanye Wested you. I'm going to edit that out. Aw, oh, you're mean. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh yes, you will. All right, so that's done. I'm just gonna brush out the little pelitos. And boom, we got a brow. Gonna do the other one off camera. Looks good enough to me. So that's done. Just brushing it out. I told you guys before, my brows never match. This was always just different. Next, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline City Bronzer. I love this stuff, it gives me life. And I'm gonna take this big brush that I showed you guys earlier, just go in. It smells delicious. It smells like summer. Side note, I like to take my mascara before I start doing all of my makeup. Just kind of put it under my leg so it warms up so I get applies better. Next, I'm gonna go in with, with my Sephora bronzer and blush. I just go in the bronzer. I'm using my little kabuki brush. I'm gonna go in the bronzer first. And now, my 
blush. I'm gonna blend these two because I feel like that's way too pink for me. Um, and I lost the other blush that I had. I wonder what ever happened to that. Mom bought it for me for Christmas. It came with like the little lipstick blush. I think somebody stole that at one of the parties we had at the apartment. So I had my makeup just out there in the bathroom. So I just blend them both. Oh my God, shut up, it looks like. And I just go in. And I never put blush on the apples of my cheeks because they're already big. What's next, Bubba? Contour. I just did that. Oh. Now that the makeup and powder, everything's on my face, I'm going to spray my face before I start my eyeshadow. I'm going in with the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I have no idea what eye look I'm going for today. Go with the flow. I'm using my Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette and this is the, the Ring the Alarm palette. Go in and, uh, with the color Rush. So I'm just going to put it kind of like the outer corner and then I'm going to bring it in a little bit. I have hooded eyes so I'll bring it in a little bit over my crease. How much time do I have? The next color I'm going to go in with is with the color Alert. clean fluffy brush to blend it. The next color I'm going in with is Secret. Secret and then I'm going to use that color and that color. shade right here it's really nice like reddish maroonish so it wasn't very pigmented but I do kind of like how it just kind of blended things over a little bit now I'm gonna go in with this the packer brush looks like that and I'm gonna go in with the color bomb ass and lolly these two colors right here. I'm just gonna blend them, mix them. So the shimmer is on. I'm just gonna blend the shimmer and the browns together. Now, I'm gonna go in with my um, e.l.f. liquid liner. This, I had a brand new one still in the package and I lost it. I think I threw it away by accident. All right guys, so that's my wing liner look. Next, 
I'm gonna go in with the Unique Highlighter. Um, it's in the color Sexy. It is loose pigment. It looks like that. And I'm just taking my e.l.f. highlighter brush. And... Okay. Flip it up there. She beaming. I'm gonna go in with another spritz. But I kind of want a dewy look today. So... I'm gonna go in with the next dewy finish. Next, I'm gonna <laughs> pop on some mascara. Bottom lash, I'm gonna do the Maybelline The Colossal. So I popped on my lashes. I totally forgot that I didn't add shadow to the bottom of my eye. I'm gonna do the shimmer at the bottom just cause we're going for like a low glam. I'm gonna just mix Lolly and Bombshell. Okay, so I just exfoliated my lips. This is the L'Oreal liquid lip. So that is the end of today's video. I hope you like the look. I hope you guys like the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.